Hey guys, in today's video I am going to show you how you can edit this photo to this photo. So first we are going to go into Bridge and open In Camera Raw. And in Camera Raw I'm just going to do some simple adjustments, taking down the whites and the highlights and a little more contrast and clarity to 5. And also I want to press the enable profile correction and then open the image. So now that we are in Photoshop I'm going to crop the image to the size I want it. So I am going by the 4x5 because I am going to post this on Instagram and I really like this format. And I also want to make it a little smaller having me in these lines. So about there I think it's a good crop. So now I am first going to change the color from green to orange and how I am going to do that is that I'm going to press command A which selects the whole picture and image mode and lab color. And now I am going to go in channels and go in the B layer, copy that one and go to the A and paste it there. Now you can see the colors have changed to orange. So go back to layer and go to history. The picture is still selected. So now I am going to copy this layer and then I am going to go back before I changed the color into lab color and I'm going to paste it. So now the background layer is your original and then you have the new colors in a new layer. And the reason why I am doing this is because if you see on my skin, the colors on my skin is not looking very good. You can see here I am gray. So I am going to take a layer mask and since it's white and I want to remove something, I am going to use the black color and the brush and I am going in and taking away the weird skin color. So what is showing right now is my real skin color. And you want to use some time doing this and just make sure that there is no green color showing. So this is the before and the after. And I do have lots of distracting elements in this picture. So I am going to use the spot healing brush tool and remove those. You can see that I have some ugly marks on my feet. So I am going to remove them. And then I have to go in the first layer because if I do this in this layer, it wouldn't show because I removed it in the layer mask. So what is showing right here is actually this layer. Okay, so now I am going to remove elements in my layer 1 and I just take away everything I find distracting. Okay, so now you can see the before and after on the parts that I removed and I am going to copy this layer in case I do something wrong. Uh, the first thing I want to do is that I'm going to select the clone stamp because I want this part right here to be filled with water. So I am going to press alt and then select in the water and the brush will take the part you selected and apply it where you want it so right there i think is good i feel like this right here is unnatural so i'm taking that away and i'm going to do the same thing right here because i feel like that part is also distracting and then i am taking the black parts So before and after, now we are going to remove the chair. So what I did was that I used the clone stamp for this part and I used a little time doing this. I was just selecting parts 
of the water and brushing them on. So you'll have to take some time doing this. So now I have removed the chair and unless you are zooming really close in it looks natural but what I don't like is this part so I am going to use liquify and in case I'm doing something wrong I like to copy the layer again so that I can start all over if I do something wrong. So I'm just going to take a little down and you have to look here how it looks like and try to make the same in the water. So I feel like this place is a little empty so what I want to do is that I want to use clone stamp again and cloning this tree and putting it right here. And that was my finished tutorial. So I really hope you guys learned something new. If you have any tips for me let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next one. Bye!